Today I'm making traditional style chicken enchiladas. I'm going to fill these with tender chicken, cheese. It's going to be good. Here's how I make them. For the chicken filling, I'm going to boil chicken legs. Here I have around two pounds of chicken drumsticks. I'm going to boil them and add four cloves of garlic, two fresh bay leaves, peppercorns, and half of a small onion that I just cut into large chunks. I'm also going to add some chicken bouillon flavoring powder into the water. That's optional. So here I have a medium sized pot with about two quarts of water. I'm adding my drumsticks. I'm also going to add all of my aromatics. And you could just use salt and pepper in the broth, but I like chicken bouillon powder. So now I'm going to turn on the heat and bring this to a simmer. I'm going to cover with a lid to expedite the boiling process. And once it starts to boil, I'm just going to remove the lid and let it go until it's cooked and tender, somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. So once it's done, I'm going to reserve the broth later, but in the meantime, I'm going to let the chicken cool and then I'm going to shred it. And you could also bake your chicken. I do that sometimes, but today I boiled it. So I'm going to season the shredded chicken with some onion powder, black pepper. I'm going to add salt to taste and a little bit of that broth. Give it a mix and the chicken is ready. I'm also going to be using cold corn tortillas and homemade enchilada sauce. Let me show you how I made this. I'm going to use eight dried guajillo chiles. I removed the stems and seeds. I'm going to rinse in cold water to remove any dust or debris. And then I'm going to take it over to my stove and bring the pot of water up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm going to shut off the heat, cover with a lid, and let it steep for about 20 minutes or until softened. Once my chilies have softened, I'm going to puree them. I'm going to add all of my chilies to my blender cup. along with one and a quarter to one and a half cups of the steeping liquid from the pot. Here I have a very small piece of onion, one clove of garlic going in, and two teaspoons of my chicken bouillon powder, and blend well. My Vitamix purees very well, so I'm not going to strain it, but if you like, you could strain this into your preheated pan. Here on my stove, I have my pan preheating with about a half tablespoon of oil. And now I'm just going to simmer and cook my sauce. You'll also want to salt to taste. You can add other seasonings and spices to this. This is sort of a blank canvas for enchilada sauce, but simple is sometimes really good. Okay, so that's how I made my enchilada sauce. And I'm probably not going to use all of this today. I'm just making a small portion of enchiladas for three people. So I'm using half the sauce. So now I'm ready to start making these enchiladas. So here in, on a preheated griddle, I have this on low heat. I'm adding some cooking oil, maybe a tablespoon or so. Spread it around. And then I'm going to dip my cold corn tortilla in the sauce and fry each side quickly. And you wanna lower that heat if it starts to pop violently like this. So I'm gonna give it a flip. And once it's flipped around, I'm just going to add chicken and cheese. The type of cheese I'm using today is a combination of mozzarella and queso fresco that I crumbled. Use any type of cheese that you like. I was just using leftover cheese that I had. So now I'm going to carefully roll it and then I like to cook it on my griddle for a minute or so just to let the cheese kind of get warm and melty and repeat the process. So per plate, I like to have a serving of three to four enchiladas. It's really up to you. I like to top with Mexican sour cream, cotija cheese. Sometimes I add fresh shredded cabbage or lettuce, tomato, onion, and your favorite salsa. It's so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!